Here now, Will Kane, co-host of Fox and Friends Weekend and host of the Will Kane Podcast. And then you got my friend Ainsley Earhart, co-host of Fox and Friends. Thank y'all so much for joining me tonight. Will, uh, you've been out front on this. Make it make sense for me, brother. What, do I have a master's in interpretive dance? I'm supposed <laughs> to make that make sense? Lawrence, that was an amazing piece of gold you found to play as video. And it probably sums up what Ainsley and I could struggle to do in five minutes, that this whole thing is nonsense. But here's what I would say it's worse than nonsense, Lawrence. It's child abuse. It is not tantamount to child abuse. It is child abuse. After two years where we know there is isolation, depression, loss of learning, and, and increasing risk of suicide, what we have watched is a society who takes its most vulnerable, its children. And to add on top of that, Lawrence, disproportionately it's black and brown children to the top of the volcano and toss them into the fire. We have sacrificed our children at the altar of fear and power and all the other ugly human sins. And the Chicago Teachers Union, who knows what they want, Lawrence? I don't know what they want. Money, power. All I know, all I know is they do not want what is best for our children. You're so right. Ainsley, you spent part of your time going out there talking with parents. And they wanted to get back to school. And we were promised if we give the teachers first priority when it comes to the COVID shots, and if we give them this money uh, to redo the classroom so they can have great ventilation system, that they will return. But when they got this money, they used it for CRT and other social justice programs. Mm -hmm. That makes everyone so angry. I mean, Lawrence, they got $130 billion for the American Rescue Plan to reopen schools. They got the money. Why are the schools closing again? We've almost experienced this for two years. Parents are frustrated. When we go out to have the conversations with parents in different counties like Loudoun County, they are furious. Some of them have children with emotional issues, and they don't know how to teach them at home. Two years of being at home, or a year and a half, or even a year being at home, back, in, back at home, virtually not in the classroom, in front of teachers that are trained to teach these kids. Think about the little ones, the loss of learning. They're trying to learn to read. They're wearing masks and, and they can't see the teacher's mouths. And that's one thing. I, I'm fine. If we have to wear the masks in order to get back into, into school, I can live with that. I just want our children back in school. And, and to your point, you are absolutely right. It is the, the lower class. It is the minority children that are really affected by this because many of them don't have the tools to go virtually at home. And that's exactly what the Surgeon General was saying yesterday. So why are they teaching CRT? Where are the priorities? And guess who, guess who is, is, uh, suffers because of this? Our children. You listed all those cities with CRT. It also, uh, California is using that money for CRT. New York, Buffalo, Washington State, Massachusetts, Minnesota, Oregon, Nevada, Rhode Island, and, and the list goes on and on. And Lawrence, I'm old school. I want math and science. I mm -hmm. want reading. I want uh, computers taught to my daughter. I don't want all the CRT stuff. If there's money left over down the road, then we can talk about teaching equity and all of that in our classrooms, because I do believe all children are equal in the eyes of God. But I want the golden rule taught, and I want those, I want math and science. I want all of that taught to my daughter. We only have them for 18 years before we send them off to college. And that's not a lot of time when you consider vacations in summer months when they're not learning at all. That's exactly right. Well, we learned from COVID that a lot of people don't want to go back to work. A lot of them were forced to go back to work yeah. because a man don't work, he don't eat. They needed money. But the teachers unions, they don't have mm -hmm. to work and they still get paid. That's right. You know what this is, Lawrence? It's a work stoppage. It's a work stoppage. It's a strike under the guise of remote learning. Truthfully, what it is, is it's child abandonment. They've abandoned our children. They've abandoned it against all science and data. You and Ainsley went through that list of schools that devoted money to CRT training, Milwaukee, Virginia, Atlanta, LA, DC. Does it strike you that it's the very same schools that today have voted to go remote for at least some period of time? It seems that the only thing our school districts in many of these cities are willing to teach is how our children should turn into racists. Because I disagree with uh, Ainsley on one semantic thing. I believe in equality. I don't believe in equity. Mm -hmm. Equity is a Trojan horse through which they, they implement Marxist ideology and neo-racism. Equality is a common human goal. You're right. I should have said, and and I should I'm have not going to stand. 
No, and, and, and Ainsley, it's a small correction that, you know, but here's why it's important, Ainsley, because I think many people semantically um, confuse the two, and that's how they, they guide many people along on this ideological move. And I'll just stay with this in the end, Lawrence. This is the important point I want to make. The New York Times the other day sort of admitted to all of this. They admitted to how bad it's been. I don't know if you saw the article, how bad I this has it. been for our children, all of these shutdowns. And it's too little too late, New yep. York Times. At this point, I want accountability. I want accountability from the politicians, the pundits, the cable news hosts. I want accountability from the teachers unions and the media. You cannot punish children and get away with it. You know, Ainsley, I'll give you the final word because a lot of, in, in that article, a lot of the columnists that, that tweeted out said they didn't know. Are you kidding me? Did you not see you know, the kids? You know, Lawrence, I want to know why this was allowed to be used for CRT. This was supposed to be used for testing, for ventilation, for masks, for whatever it is to get our kids back in the classroom, not for CRT. And they passed this under the guise of public health. And in many of those issues, those CRT yes. issues, they're saying are public health issues. Baltimore, there are two high schools recently that were studied, and not a single student is proficient in these high schools, not a single student in math or science, yet they're probably learning CRT. So why use this money for CRT? Our children are suffering. You're exactly right. Can and I just answer that really quickly? Ahead, Can I Will. give one hint on that, Lawrence? Hey, Ainsley, um, I'm sure you both saw the news. Within the past week, the governor of New York, Kathy Hochul, has yep. declared racism a public health crisis. Therein lies how you can divert money away from actually putting children back into the classroom right. and devote it to CRT. That is the new standard. Everything will be public health to get what they want. And, and if we're stupid enough to fall right. for it, the sh shame on us. But the kids deserve better. Ainsley, Will, thank y'all so much for joining me tonight. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.